to another episode of Robo Fett and depressing news today, uh, Star Wars Battlefront 3, <laughs> the unofficial Star Wars Battlefront 3, also known as Galaxy in Turmoil, headed up by Frontwire Studios, who is basically a byproduct that broke away once the game was canned, and a lot of people at LucasArts broke away and decided to start making this game as sort of a fan project. I gotta say, when I saw, like years ago, when I saw that they were gonna make a Battlefront 3 and the stuff they were showing for it, from the trailers to the gameplay to everything, I got so excited. And somewhere, I kind of lost track of what was going on a few years back. When I heard that EA was making this Battlefront game, I thought that it was going to be based off the skeleton of that game. I thought that game was what we were gonna be getting in the new Star Wars Battlefront by EA and DICE Games. And, uh, <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it just it really wasn't and you know what guys I'll, there's a lot of awesome things about the Star Wars Battlefront that uh, EA made I'm not gonna say that it's just a completely horrible game this was terrible but it could have been so much better and honestly I kind of lost interest in it about after three weeks I just was just done I had no intention of getting the ridiculously priced season pass basically the price of a brand new game just for a season pass I don't want to pay that much for a season pass. And guys, I'm a massive Star Wars fan, but I just kind of felt like they were milking money out of me at that point. And there are so many elements from Battlefront, Battlefront 2 that are just missing. Almost all of that was going to be incorporated into Battlefront 3 or Galaxy in Turmoil as it was going to be called. And it just sucks because you could tell that they were gonna do such great things with that game. And honestly, please don't hate on me for saying this. I really dislike the fact that EA now has a stake in Star Wars games and they're the ones that get to make Star Wars games. I feel like Battlefront was like a shrine to, to Star Wars nostalgia. You know, like from, I mean, I loved it from the sounds, the atmosphere and the lasers and the characters, but there was no story campaign, just endless multiplayer games and single player survival maps. And just, there's just been so many great Star Wars games in the past. Never once have I played one without a story campaign. It's something that makes it compelling to, you know, play by yourself, gives it more playable longevity. And Star Wars is a story. All they did was capitalize off of everything that was Star Wars. They copied and pasted everything that was Star Wars, Star Wars, Star Wars, and they just put it in the game. They're like, people are going to be blinded by the fact that this is Star Wars, and they're not going to notice that we didn't really try that hard to actually construct something really special here. And honestly, I don't even think that the game should be called Battlefront because it's not a continuation of Battlefront. It's just not. The first Battlefront, what I really loved about that is that you could get in vehicles on land maps. You could, like especially, my one of my favorite levels was Hoth. You could get in the snow speeders and take down AT-ATs. And all you had, you didn't have to kill a certain amount of people to do it. All you had to do was make sure that you were there when a freaking snow speeder spawned. And it was integrated so much better. I also love the Battle of Geonosis, which is another thing that they didn't think of. I mean, yes, there's a lot of people that hate on the prequels out there, but does that mean that it's not fun to play in a video game? Absolutely not! One of my favorite Star Wars games of all time is uh, Bounty Hunter, and that's based off of Jango Fett, who's from the prequels. And it made for a really fun PlayStation 2 GameCube game. And not to mention that the prequels were an integrated part in Battlefront 1 and Battlefront 2, but like I said, they don't really give a crap about Battlefront. What I didn't like about Battlefront 2 was that they took that element out to get in a spaceship and fly around a, a map. You had It was either space battles or land battles, one or the other. But Battlefront 3 was going to integrate both. I remember this awesome trailer of a clone trooper getting into a Jedi Starfighter and flying into space going almost in, almost like No Man's Sky, flying into a Federation ship and then docking inside of it. It was just so cool. And there was a humongous space battle going on overhead. I just imagine, if, and you know what was really disappointing is that the game was almost finished before it was shelved. Almost finished. So how easy would it have been? I mean, EA already kind of wanted to use Star Wars nostalgia to kind of blind people, in my opinion. How easy would it have been to just finish that game and make that your first Star Wars game? It wouldn't have been that hard at all. And there was just so many cool cutscenes from that game. It just looked so amazing. And I really wish that we could have seen it finished. I really do. I understand where they're coming from. I really do. I don't blame EA but I just don't like the fact that EA owns Star Wars at all. That's my point. I don't like that they own Star Wars at all. 
There's been so many great Star Wars games in the past. Star Wars video games are probably some of my favorite to play. I mean, I love all of them, from the good ones to the bad ones, from freaking Star Wars Demolition to Star Wars Obi-Wan to Jedi Knight and Jedi Knight Outcast and Jedi Knight Academy, Knights of the Old Republic, one of the best games, not just Star Wars games, but video games that I've ever played. And of course, the original Battlefront games. And to see what EA did with Battlefront, it just is disheartening to me and it just makes me think, is this what all the Star Wars games are going to be like from now on? Battlefront to me almost has that Call of Duty feel, which I don't like. I want to play Call of Duty to play Call of Duty. I don't want to play Star Wars to play Call of Duty, you know what I mean? And it would be fine to even have that aspect if you just had the story mode. Guess what else has a story mode? Freaking Call of Duty has story mode in every single game. How hard would it have been? to just put a story mode in this game. Apparently the president of Frontwire Studios, Tony Romanelli, uh, decided that he wanted to kind of fight this and go talk to LucasArts. And they were basically like, oh, we would, but EA doesn't really want us to do that. He was trying to say, oh, well, it falls under parry law. This is just a parody of Star Wars. And they're like, yeah, and you know what? I completely agree with them. That's ridiculous. The most ridiculous thing I've ever heard. As much as I want this game to come out, come on. You gotta come up with something better than that, buddy. But anyway, long story short, they're still going to go on with the game. It's just not gonna be Star Wars at all. So God knows how much stuff they're gonna have to change, how many freaking AT-ATs they're gonna have to take out and X-Wings and Y-Wings and maybe even B-Wings, who knows? I would've loved to have seen those in one of those games. So it is depressing. I do look forward to whatever they're gonna do with this project. Hopefully they have enough money to go back and re-edit and do what they need to do. As for EA, here's what I wanna see from them. I wanna see a really cool uh, Jedi game where you get to be a Jedi. Maybe even a game based off The Force Awakens, I don't care. I wanna see some really cool titles like we had back in the day, like a bounty hunter, like a Shadows of the Empire, and hopefully add some more elements into the next Battlefront game to make it actually feel like Star Wars Battlefront and not just feel like some entirely different game. And I do wanna say one more time, guys, I did enjoy playing Star Wars Battlefront, uh, but I was just vastly disappointed because I was expecting what I thought I was gonna get with Star Wars Battlefront 3 and drawing off the original Battlefront games, that's kind of what led to my disappointment. But anyway, guys, I wanna know what you think about this in the comments below. Are you disappointed? Did you even know that they were trying to kind of squeeze this one by Disney and EA? What are some ideas that you think would make a really cool next Battlefront game? I wanna know in the comments below. If you liked today's video, make sure that you like and subscribe. As always, guys, thanks for watching. Stay awesome. Keep those Punisher hats on. And I'll see you later.